Welcome to Martin Survival. Today I'm joined with Mr. Aaron Sabel and we are going to show you how to make a granary. So stick around and let's get started. All right, so welcome back. Uh, so Aaron, what do we got here? We got, this is Desert Willow, and um, what we're gonna use to make a, um, a first attempt to make a Kauia, a Kauia granary. Um, and we're using this because this is pretty much all we have right now. And, and this is a good material. It's nice and flexible. Yes. And uh, uh, the Kauia, along with other native peoples, they would use this to store acorns year round. Yes. Uh, acorns will go bad. They'll mold. Exactly. And then it's no good. So those old people had to figure out a way to um, keep them from molding. And, and well, how they figured was uh, a large granary, depending upon how much they were going to store in it, uh, most of the time they used a very large one, about maybe three, four feet wide, or two, about three feet at the most wide, but it'd be like about three feet in depth. So they are very, they were very large, some of them, because it's stored for the whole winter. Okay, the thing about this is that as we're doing it, we can always fill in the gaps. Or like, See how it is right here? There's the, these gaps. We can always fill them in. But see, the circle is already starting to make the circle part. Um, and we'll continue this as soon as I get enough stuff to together. And so it pretty much will stay itself, like that one. Mm -hmm. I have to do the next one too. Must be doing good because it couldn't get it through. <laughs> yeah, the Kauia people at one time wanted to go to war with. They were going to annihilate San, um, Los Angeles and San Diego, and it's 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 in a, a book called Chiefs and Challengers. I think it is Chiefs and Challengers, and it was written. Um, because Juan Antonio, he got tired of the way the, the what do you call it, the cattlemen were treating the Indian people, treating them bad, and um, killing them. And but yet we couldn't do nothing in return. So um, they took it upon themselves and they started killing people back. It's always hard. Okay, remember, we wanted to get. Go ahead. So, yeah. Did it make it? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Cool. There we go. You're fine. It's good. That's a fair trade. All right, folks, so that's just about going to wrap things up. Once again, making a granary. Now, I am going to use this granary up in the Morongo Basin. And uh, I, I plan on using this for years and years to come. Uh, so with that, we are going to wrap this video up with a traditional song. And Aaron, what is this song about? Um, this song is uh, it's a Kauia bird song. Um, my uncle Alvino, Alvino Siva, my great uncle, um, I used to sing with him and this is what he would close. Every time we'd sing, this is what the song that he would use to close it up. It's uh, Yawa Chimiyahi. And Yawa is to hold, is telling us to hold on to what we've learned. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just what the song say. Y'all watch me here. So here's the song right now. Y'all watch me here. 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 
Ya watch on me, ya hey, ya watch on me, ya hey, ya watch on me, hey, ya watch on me, ya 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 hey. Ya wa chom mi ya he ya wa chom mi ya he ya wa chom mi ya he ya wa chom mi he ya wa chom mi ya 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 he ya wa